understand. But David, for all of his uh, uh, confidence, I'm sure probably is wondering himself what's going to happen here tonight when he takes on Carino Garcia. You know, David Reed was probably one of the real brightest prospects of the late 1990s, and he won a world championship. But how will he approach now the new decade? Keeping out of trouble became the number one goal for David Reed growing up on the mean streets of Philadelphia. And boxing was his way out with his sights set on an Olympic gold medal. The six-time U.S. national amateur champion went on to become the only American boxer to win gold in Atlanta. In 1997, the 23-year-old went pro, trying to recapture the legacy of great Philadelphia fighters gone by. And Reed quickly lived up to his Olympic and amateur accolades, walloping Robert Kuhn in Denver. And then Reed took only one punch to send Jorge Vaca to the boardwalk in Atlantic City. The Philadelphia story for Simon Brown put him to sleep. And then Reed's crowning moment, capturing the WBA Junior Middleweight Championship from tough Laurent Boudouani in front of friends and relatives who stood behind him as he climbed the boxing ladder. But after years of problems with his left eye, opponents were zeroing in on it. Surgeries attempted to improve the appearance, but the eye has been a prime target for challengers ever since. Reed heeded the challenge from a tough Australian challenger Kevin Kelly, winning a close 12-round decision to retain his title. Just six weeks later, Reed returned to the ring against Keith Mullings, wanting to reestablish his perception as a warrior and to prove his eye could handle the punishment. The fight went the distance and was another unanimous decision. And now the Philadelphia Phenom was primed for a showdown with Felix Trinidad, and he got it. Boy, did he get it. Just nine months ago, a night he'll never forget. Reed took control, surprising Trinidad with this knockdown punch in the third round. But Reed never capitalized on that chance to finish off Trinidad, and it cost him dearly. He was leading on all cards after six rounds, but in the seventh, Trinidad landed a shot that numbed Reed so long he was still reeling from it five rounds later. A punch he'll never forget. Trinidad won the decision, and Reed has been dealing with it since. That fight, I just felt that I just took a chance, and I mean, man, my legs, my hands, everything was just so much faster than Trinidad, and I just decided to take a chance, and it didn't go my way. It just didn't go my way. He returns to the ring for the first time tonight, stronger, more fit, more determined than ever, and for the first time as a middleweight. So the question's now, does Reed still have the ability to become a champion again? Can he regain his confidence? And perhaps more importantly, will his surgically repaired eye hold up to the punishment of bigger, stronger boxers? So those are a lot of questions, Barry, that uh, David Reed uh, must answer here tonight, not to our satisfaction necessarily, but probably to his own. I think that's very true. He says he wants Bernard Hopkins, one of the middleweight champions. Just spin it right in there. Don't worry about it. Up your hands, be sharp, change your angle. Give him that, hey, hey, come on. And snap your punch. So you saw the copy.